Fractions How to change a mixed number to an improper fraction You've got to know how to do this when you're doing fractions. Let me walk you through how to make sense of it so you can do it too. Here's a mixed number. You might also hear this thing called a mixed numeral or a mixed fraction. Different names, but they all mean the same thing. Every mixed number contains a whole number part and a fractional part. Here we've got two and two thirds, that's two whole ones, and the fractional part is two thirds. When we change between a mixed number and an improper fraction, we're saying how many parts there are in total, and we're giving that information in the form of a fraction. The denominator tells us how many parts are in each whole. A denominator of three means that each whole has three parts, and we have two wholes. This fractional part tells us that we have two parts out of three. We can see all our parts in this diagram. How many parts have we got? There are two wholes, so that's two lots of three, six, plus two more parts, that's eight. And we keep the same denominator because this is still parts out of three. So we put the total number of parts, that's eight, over our denominator of 3. And there's your improper fraction. We can also do this work without using a diagram. Let's take another example. 4 and a half. Each whole is worth 2 because our denominator is 2. I have 4 wholes, so that means I have 4 lots of 2, or 4 times 2. That's 8. And I have another part here to add in from the numerator of 1. So 8 plus 1 is 9. That's our number of parts, so that's our numerator. I use the same denominator we started with, 2, and I'm done. 4 and a half is the same as 9 over 2. And I can use a diagram to prove it. 4 holes. Each hole is worth 2 parts, plus 1 more part out of 2. That's 9 parts out of 2. It's the same answer. 5 and 3 quarters. This is 5 holes. Each hole is worth 4 parts, as the denominator tells us. So we say 5 times 4 is 20. Add the remaining 3. That's 23 parts. Put that back over our denominator of 4. Done! Six and two thirds. Six holes. Each hole is worth three parts. So six times three is eighteen. Add the remaining two. That's twenty parts. Put that back over the denominator of three. Done. Last one. Eight and three fifths. Eight holes. Each hole is worth five parts. So eight times five is forty. Plus the remaining three. That's 43. Put that back over the denominator of 5. Done! So when you're changing a mixed number to an improper fraction, you take the whole number and you multiply it by the denominator, and then you add the numerator, and that's your total number of parts. It's your new numerator. Put it over the old denominator, and you're all done. And with a bit of practice, this will soon be second nature for you. If this film helped you, please click the thumbs up for me. Thanks!